थोड़ी आवाज सेट कर बेटे या तो माइक बदल दे या आवाज सेट कर सानिध्य में बैठना बातचीत करना सहचिंतन करना और यह बातचीत गपशप नहीं है यह बातचीत किसी संसारिकता से भरपूर कोई खाली अर्थोपार्जन की दृष्टि से या कोई और राजनीतिक महत्वाकांक्षा की दृष्टि से नहीं है यह बातचीत एक सामूहिक लोक कल्याण और जिसको कहा जाए कि हमारे यहाँ मनुष्य के जीवन के लिए एक जो आदर्श दिया गया है वो कहा गया है कि अपने कल्याण के लिए और लोगों के हित के लिए आत्म मोक्षार्थ है लोक हिताय और तो अपने लिए मोक्ष और लोगों के हित के लिए ये जीवन का लक्ष्य बताया गया है हमारे यहाँ धर्म की साधना का ये देश है और धर्म की साधना में धर्म वही है जिसमें लोक कल्याण हो धर्म वही है जिसकी परिभाषा मनुस्मृति में दी गई उसके जो दस लक्षण दिए गए हैं धरती क्षमा दमो अस्तम शौचम इंद्रिय निग्रह धीर विद्या सत्यम अक्रोधो दशकम धर्म लक्षण तो उसी धर्म के लिए ही है और उसी धर्म के लिए ही यतुस धर्म तुस जय जहां धर्म में वही जय हो ये बाबर हमारे यहां कहा गया है तो धर्म कहा मिलेगा तो धर्म सत्संग में मिलेगा और क्योंकि धर्म की स्थापना के लिए विवेक चाहिए और विवेक कहा मिलता है बिनु सत्संग विवेक ना हुई हाँ वो अलग बात है राम कृपा बिनु सुलभ न सोई तो हम सब पर भगवान की कृपा है हम एक सत्संग के लिए एकत्र हुए हैं ये भी एक सत्संग है ये भी एक उपनिषद है और मुझे लगता है कि हम सभी के अंदर वैसे तो अर्जुन है हम सबको मालूम है क्या सत क्या ठीक है क्या गलत है क्या धर्म है क्या अधर्म है हमारे में वैसे कोई कोई दुर्योधन भी हो सकता है जब दुर्योधन को कृष्ण ने कहा कि भाई ये तू अधर्म कर रहा है ये कर रहा है वो कर रहा है तो दुर्योधन ने कहा कि मैं जानता हूँ धर्म क्या है अधर्म क्या है पर मेरी वृत्ति अधर्म में है वो तो अलग बात है अन्यथा हम सभी में जो अर्जुन है वो जैसे गीता लगभग पैंतालीस मिनट में कृष्ण ने अर्जुन को समझा दिया था तो उसका अंतिम जो वाक्य था अर्जुन का नष्टे मोहा स्मृत लब्धा मुझा मेरा मोह नष्ट हो गया और मुझे स्मृति की प्राप्ति हुई आप सभी को भी मालूम है क्या जीवन शैली होनी चाहिए क्या भोजन होना चाहिए किस दिशा में जीवन को लेके जाना चाहिए क्या प्रकृति है और क्या प्रकृति वृद्ध है हम सबको मालूम भी है बस काल के वश में हम सब आए हैं फंसे होते हैं तो कभी कभी इस प्रकार के जो सत्संग हैं इस प्रकार के जो उपनिषद हैं वो हमारे अंदर के अर्जुन को जगाने के लिए हैं कि फिर वो गांडी वो उठाए और धर्म युद्ध करे तो आज का ये ऐसा ही है हमारे बीच में खाद्रवली साहब हैं तो आज अभी लेक्चर थोड़ा रहेगा उनका तो परिचर्चा ज़्यादा रहेगी और हमारा भी सौभाग्य है कि एक बहुत चुने हुए लोगों को बुलाया गया है जो पहले से योग में अध्यात्म में या पर्यावरण और प्रकृति कृषि में रुचि रखते हैं तो ऐसे रुचि संपन्न लोगों के बीच में बातचीत का आनंद भी और है उसका स्तर भी और हो गया खादवली साहब इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट साइंस से पी किया थे इन्होंने और फिर अमेरिका पहले भारत में भी काम किया पर अमेरिका में काम किया 
और फिर अमेरिका में एक दिन जो कुछ घटना हुई उसकी चर्चा वो कर देंगे कि जिसके कारण से वो अमेरिका छोड़ के फिर भारत वापस आए वो ऐसी घटना नहीं थी कि इनका किसी ने अपमान किया था ऐसा नहीं था वो घटना ऐसी थी कि ये जहाँ काम करते थे वहाँ एक छः वर्ष की बच्ची को जब मासिक धर्म शुरू हो गया और उसकी ब्लीडिंग रुक नहीं रही थी तो जो उसके बाद जो वहाँ के चिकित्सकों ने बातचीत की उससे ये व्याकुल होके विचलित होके इन्होंने कहा अमेरिका रहने लायक देश नहीं है इसलिए आप में से जिनके बच्चे अमेरिका कनेडा दौड़ते हों जरा उनसे और तरह से बातचीत कीजिए तो मुझे लगता है कि खादा जी ने अपना एक पूरा समय और पूरा जीवन ये श्रीधान्य है वो कहते हैं और उसी से लोगों की रोग मुक्ति लोक कल्याण वही उनका पूरे का पूरा आदर्श है उसी को वो समर्पित है हमारे बीच लगातार आते रहे हैं पिछले अनेक वर्षों से और जिसको आप मिलिट्स कहते हैं आज मिलिट्स की बात हम करेंगे वो खेती वैसे मिशन वैसे तो बहुत पुराना काम कर रहा है और अब यादव अली जी के सानिध्य में आने के बाद वो कार्य में और गति पकड़ी है बहुत लोग यहाँ मिलट्स की खेती कर रहे हैं मेरे बीच एक किसान बैठा है रिश्पिंदर सिंह गरेवाल रिश्पिंदर जो है वैसे एम टेक एग्रीकल्चर है और ये भी अशोक जी आपके कॉलेज का पुराना स्टूडेंट रहा ये भी जी से इसने पढ़ाई की है जी के बाद पी से इसने एम टेक एग्रीकल्चर किया और अब फार्मिंग करता है मिलट भी उगाता है मिलट की कैंपेन को लीड करता है तो ये रिश्पिंदर हमारे बीच है ऐसे अनेक लोग कर रहे हैं अगला वर्ष मिलट का अंतर्राष्ट्रीय वर्ष के नाते आने वाला है हम उसकी चर्चा करेंगे थोड़ी सी और क्या लुधियाना के लोग ऐसे आहार की बातचीत करेंगे जो आहार जिसके बारे में कहा गया है कि आहार वही होता है जो ओज तेज बल बुद्धि वीर सब चीजें प्रदान करे जो मेधा स्मृति ये दे वही आहार होता है लेकिन क्या हम जो आहार खा रहे हैं वो ऐसा है तो शायद उसमें गड़बड़ हो गई है कुछ तो वो कहाँ गड़बड़ हुई है उसकी बात करेंगे कुछ समझेंगे कुछ खादव अली जी कहेंगे आ, अनिल जी भी कहेंगे कुछ और लोग आप में से कुछ कहना चाहें तो बातचीत करेंगे हम और कोशिश करेंगे एक सह यात्रा करें हम अपने आहार की चिंता करते हुए और पर्यावरण की चिंता करते हुए एक सह यात्रा करें तो ये उपनिषद है इकट्ठे बैठना गुरु के पास विद्वान के पास बैठना इकट्ठे उप निकट निषद बैठना ठीक है ना तो ये आ, अपने आप में एक उपनिषद की रचना है तो मैं कहता हूँ खादा वाली जी को ये स्वास्थ्य का उपनिषद है ये आहार का उपनिषद है इतना कहते हुए मैं आदरणीय खादवली साहब को निवेदन करूंगा कि वो आज की चर्चा शुरू करें डॉक्टर खादवली साहब नहीं पहले लोगों का वेलकम कर लेते हैं आप पहले कैसे कैसे कार्यक्रम कैसे आपने कार्यक्रम को किया डॉक्टर खादर जी ने ही बोलना है पहले तो और वही है जो फिर ओपन फोरम लोगों ने जो पूछना मांगी लोगों को तालियों से साबित करेंगे दोनों चाहिए दोनों चाहिए ये सिर्फ रिकॉर्डिंग के लिए है ये आवाज के लिए हिंदी 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 आती है 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 है
हिंदी में अनुवाद करना पड़ता है बोलना पड़ता है उसमें बड़े झंझट से मेला हो जाता है उनका ऐसा नहीं है चलिए अभी अभी हम सीख रहे हैं हिंदी से आम आदमी का फोकस में रख के हम एक काम कर रहे हैं इट्स नॉट दैट वी आर नॉट आम आदमी वी आर ऑल्सो आम आदमी ये सब के सब होने के बाद फर्स्ट थिंग Buddha, after getting nirvan, he opened his eyes, and all the disciples or followers were waiting. They were sure that Buddha got something. He became Buddha, and they were expecting him to tell about his experience. He smiled and said, "Let's cook and eat something." That's the first word he said. He didn't say anything about nirvana or moksha or whatever. <clears throat> and I say, Mahavir, Jain. be after getting the funny thing is this mahavir fellow did a meditation while standing first thing he opened his eyes and he said i have to eat something he went and begged in a house please give me some food because there were no real followers for him at that time jain and any great sadhakas did not stay in that dimension of nirvana which they could easily they came back they came back kyunki nirvana ka matlab ye hota hai ki sadhiyon ko kuch madad kare and that is the ultimate goal of nirvana and that is the reason even sanatan dharma mein bhagwan parmatma bolte hain and we are all supposed to be meeting him because we have got divided from him and gone join him so uska kaam khatam hota tha na so god could have just kept quiet aur ek bar logon ko wapas bhej diya gaya so ultimately there is nothing serious about nirvana it's a cycle it's a balance a non material domain to material domain this exchange and the energy is the form through which it happens there is actually nothing and there is energy and then there is material manifestation so it is a cycle of nothingness material energy and it's interplay of all these things this is as simple as that so whoever gets into this domain of being happy once you understand this it's as simple as that and you're happy nothing really matters but then <clears throat> it is inevitable that you got to be in material domain to understand the play of all these things. it is the manifestation the ultimate manifestation of intelligent nothingness is to play it around play it around so while doing that we get into this material is again one is conscious material another is unconscious so these kinds of divisions go on and on and and so we create <clears throat> once the bodily material domain comes then lot of complications begin so and once the non material domain enters that interplay is to simplify things and then complicate things simplify things complicate things the material domain 
of the whole universe has to find means and methods of expressing this non manifestable system into manifestation and so there is a balance of energy non manifestable and manifestable and that is the pratima of human being all these domains can be present in a system like a human being but then you got to express it you got to realize it all those things have to happen through the travel of these manifestations so and while doing that we travel we travel and each system is understood in by different thinkers starting from yagnavalkya and many more sadhus and through time evolution so each one interprets experiences but ultimately everyone has to play this game of running around and where there is balance you experience that stillness because it is in the stillness there is movement without movement you cannot think of stillness and without being still there is no movement so these are all very interconnected things and it looks mysterious but there is no mystery about all this once you experience that stillness in the restlessness everything becomes very clear crystal clear <clears throat> so the procedures of this manifestation and evolution of thought process evolution of human body all these things become <clears throat> pretty material domain and without material domain being properly nourished and evolved you cannot go to these gates of realizations and non material domain i call this non material domain because there is no matter at all it's energy and then something beyond the energy <clears throat> so let's start at the beginning the body starts from one egg and sperm so the both have to be proper right to make a healthy zygote if the zygote is not healthy your growth patterns are all decided so what do you make before this the catch 22 situation the sperm and the egg has to be healthy means the other contributors have to be healthy so what makes them healthy the zygote becomes the baby baby becomes the thing so now two pounds or three pounds baby or three kilos baby becomes by the time he leaves this body 80 kilos 60 kilos so what is it in between it is made of what you eat so fundamentally food becomes the most important thing for anything for any living being whether it is a dog or a cat or but these dimensions are not aware being aware by the other animals and we can be a tool to become an aware the awareness can be in your system so the whole process of being aware starts from where we get this body how do we keep it in a proper state of being such that this awareness can be achieved so everything has to be in a balanced state so without balance nothing happens and how do we create that balance and what is this balance when it manifests into physiological systems of our body that there are balances of each part each things that flow in our body so blood so the physiology of the blood is to have 5 grams of glucose at any given point of time some amount of testosterone some amount of estrogen some amount of this some amount of so these balances are absolutely fixed 
as it is a natural system. So if these balances are disturbed, then obviously you get into an imbalanced state which actually creates ill health. So the balance is now defined as health and the imbalance is ill health. So once you are in ill health state, the goal of your being aware becomes difficult. And hence, you are starting from your mind, nervous system, the paraphernalia that can actually visualize, conceptualize, realize, all those things are going to be malfunctioning. So, malfunctioning doesn't mean that they are not functioning. The ultimate aim is to function properly. But here in between, we are screwing up because our material domain systems are getting disturbed. As Umendarji said, two maybe million years or whatever amount of time that has passed, the balance was there in the last 200 years because of technology, <coughs> starting from light. Our eyes are not designed to see the origin of light. I mean, you cannot see sun directly, but you can see moon for hours together because it's a reflected light. So our eyes are designed to see reflected light. That's as simple as that. There are no questions to be asked here. You cannot question why so. And in that form, a dog's eyes has a different range of sunlight. Vip Gayar is our restricted zone. Uh, some animals can see infrared, some animals can see ultraviolet. All these, <coughs> the mechanisms, the hardware is not there. So the moment we created the light, so night we are supposed to sleep. As the sun goes down in the horizon, we are supposed to sleep because we cannot have a source of light which reflects light and so we cannot see things. But in the last 250 years, once we designed this, because it is small source of energy, we are thinking we can manage to see. And we have now come here to this kind of gadgets where we are seeing directly long periods of time the origin of light. <coughs> and this is a source of light. Either this or TV or <coughs> all these gadgets, including light. <coughs> so the nervous system that is supposed to be balanced, not seeing origin of light has started getting disturbed. And then we have designed many other wavelengths, radar, microwave, radio waves, all these magnetic pulses that can in fact disturb our nervous system. Because what is after all nerves? They are having the electron and the proton the signals being carried. And that's why when we touch an electric point without being insulated, you will die. Because the disturbance and the imbalance is so much, the signals pass through your body and you cannot manage it. What if you just stand on a wood and then touch? What happens? Nothing happens to you. What if that charging station is higher voltage high power. Even the wood cannot sustain. So if there is a balance, so all this AEH and you know, we can manage by t touching wood, the electric, the negative ions do not pass through that. So you do not get burned. The energy is not burning your system. You see so many complications came because we created that. Then we understood, oh, the wood. What is wood? It's actually not positive. The electrons have to be negated means you think there is a positive charge there. There is no positive. Actually, it's a pool of electrons. It's called lignin. It's an aromatic pool of electrons. They're simply running around in circles. 
so the electrons that are coming from the charged area come and fall into the spool and get stabilized. They are running, not running into the earth. That's why it gets stabilized. So that's how you insulate rubber. It's also a pool of electrons. It's another form from another planet, another nature of things. So, so the negative energy is stabilized by a pool of negative electrons running around, not a positive. Whereas in our brains, there is a positive sodium, potassium, these cations are also coming into play to charge, discharge system. So if it is accumulated, then sometimes you do like that. And if it is accumulated more, you start getting fits. And if it is much more, you have strokes. You see, this is how the system, if you lose the balance, all these disturbances come in. That is in the form of energy. These are all energy we are talking about. But the material domain is coming into play. <clears throat> so that's why you see a lot of people who have mental disturbances get aggravated when there is blue moon, I mean, uh, new moon and <clears throat> full moon. Because the electric impulses, magnetic impulses are very different on those two days. So how do we stabilize all these things? That means there is an imbalance created in the brain system, the energy system. So that means the electric signals have to be stabilized. So that's when the blood comes in the picture. Now you see <coughs> from that energy state, if the blood has some pool of electrons being dissolved in it, then that can be absorbed. So your system is not disturbed. <clears throat> See where I am trying to take you people, that if there is a stabilizing, and so what is disease after all, is this negative energy that you think is coming from somewhere. No. In fact, when we eat something, when we burn glucose, we generate the oxidative stress in the mitochondria. <clears throat> And that's where the negative energy comes. What it means is that glucose, a chemical which is formed out of sun's energy in the plant system <coughs> has taken the energy in the form of chemical energy. So it has carbon, hydrogen, oxygen. So if you burn, remove that hydrogen and make it into carbon dioxide, you are generating energy which then through cytochrome system tumbles down and we capture that energy. The initial state is ATP. And if there is a leakage of that electric negative energy, it transforms into itself into negative chemicals, which are kalmashas. Toxic morbid waste is created with every biological reactions we commit. So now unless that toxic morbid waste is daily removed from your body, you will not be healthy. And we are all thinking being nutritious, having right food is being healthy. It is only to the energy generation. To live you need that energy, burning the glucose and the ATP formation. But then that doesn't keep quiet. It allows you to get into carbon dioxide. You see if Carbon dioxide is not generated, you are not burning glucose. And if these two reactions, one is very good, it is giving energy, another result is it is giving you carbon dioxide. Okay, no problem, let carbon dioxide be there inside. Three minutes if I press your nose and mouth, you are going to be dead. It is carbon dioxide which is a toxic material, will block everything in your system. <coughs> See, the energy that was running around managing all this is going to be kicked out. That is energy, but carbon dioxide is a material thing. So there is connection. This non-material and material domain are connected. So now if I have to get this carbon dioxide out from each and every cell is producing this. Aina? So how do we get to do, do that? So it has to be transported. So again, it sits on your 
blood hemoglobin comes through veins and then gets into your lungs and then we it's gone now we are ready again again we burn so each and every second this has to happen and that's the reason why people say please mind your breath all this sadhakas sit and start meditating just look at your breath what is that see that the elimination and that's why god created darkness so keep your eyes shut and lie down and sleep well in sleep we remove all inch inch by inch in every cell you extract this carbon dioxide and remove it out because on a daily basis on a day time we don't do that efficiently and that's the reason why you need to sit spare some time if in a day even if you do not meditate in the morning do it 10 15 minutes in the night so that the cells are going to work properly to remove the left out this gaseous toxic material because carbon dioxide is not a normal gas it has got oxygen oxygen and carbon and the oxygen being electronegative keeps electrons towards it so once the polar molecule is there it can go and attach anywhere in our system so a concerted effort is needed to get it out and that's why you need good 5 to 7 hours of sleep so sleeping is one of the most important removal of toxic morbid waste and that's why you need to sleep that's why you should not have light in the night so if you have light in the night and sleep your carbon dioxide removal from each and every part of it is inefficient that's why when you sleep in full blown lights your sleep is not right but hum kya kar rahe 24 into 7 parties are there okay we have light so we have got this dimensionless brain now thinking that we have light we can do 24 hour hours we can work so somewhere in 1970s or 60s or 50s our wisdom of choosing the right path no it's okay to have light whenever is needed you but then it is become a practice that we are working here because americans ask us to work you know we have back offices and you know we are running around and all our kids are working sitting here 24 hour so it's at the most unnecessary unwanted unscientific am i right see how we have created disease so just light over a period of this 200 years or i think it's 190 years or so light has come we have never asked a question do we need this night business so when sun goes down when the sun comes up that's our business time so we have lost the questions to be asked we never asked the question we never asked the question then came in the name of green revolution rice and wheat we started eating the glucose is released in a matter of 15 20 minutes because there is no fiber left in the rice wheat and chini so within 10 15 minutes you are flooding your blood with glucose so we are supposed to have 5 grams of glucose instead we have now 50 grams of glucose each meal and we are supposed to eat once when the sun rises so that you have energy to pull along till he goes down that release of energy has to be regulated because the burning of glucose has to happen that happens properly if you have 
homeostasis of the blood maintained. You see, we are now moved to a much more physical domain of the blood being balanced. It's become completely physical. The glucose amount. So, burning and all that is now at a lower, rather hidden level. This itself is a problem now. We are entering into a domain where it is completely material. We have flooded the blood with glucose. With the temperature that we have to maintain, it becomes viscous. So the heart now faces the problem of pumping a more viscous liquid than what it is designed to. Just like our eyes designed to not see the origin of light, reflect the light. Now, the blood pumping capacity of our heart all over the world from time immemorial is the same. It is not changed. The same thin blood with only 5 grams out of 5 liters or approximately. If that thin it is there, then it, the blood which is pumped it goes down and then comes back. But then what did we do? Without asking question, we are pumping rice and wheat and chini into our, which is thickening your blood. So you started creating blood pressure because the heart has to pump harder. So the system now is in a different mode. So the homeostasis of the blood is disturbed. Now one of your organs is under stress. Now because the blood has become thick, the kidney becomes stressed because it has to filter differently. You see, there was a thin liquid. It used to have the nephrons fit for that particular <coughs> thickness of the fluid that it can remove this. But when the blood becomes thicker, so when you have high BP, your kidney is under stress. So who created this problem? Ah, choosing... We chose the... Ah, so what is the definition of food now? That to maintain the stasis, homeostasis of the blood. So in the material domain, this is the definition, first definition. Very important point that we all have missed. No biochemist till today questioned why should we eat rice and wheat and sugar. And the whole world is producing billions of tons of this because it's business. 28% of earth is producing sugarcane. Sugarcane is a C4 grass which actually grows in a very, very specific areas. Very small quantities. Then we have chosen because we want to make molasses, liquor industry. And there is no regulation no doctor, no biochemist, no organization, no WHO, no one tells, don't eat sugar. Should have been the first word if you are a doctor. Because it is the last product that we need to pump into the blood in a very regulated manner. So no signs. The same way, light. No sign, nothing to worry. Istamal karo, just go on doing what you want. So we are slowly and steadily removing all the natural systems, throwing into the wind. And despite that, we are still functioning. That means every system is working, trying to maintain the balance. So while trying to maintain the balance, actually it creates more and more toxic morbid waste because the electrons are not being guided in the right directions. It's going here in tangents. Are you, are you understanding? This is pure science I'm talking about. But then it translates, transcribes, transmutates into different problems. So the system has to be maintained in a balance means we need to learn, educate ourselves to see that your food regulates the release of glucose into your blood in a sustained, regulated, the amount being decided. 
Are you with me? Are you all with me? Yes. So the food that we have chosen in the last whatever, in the name of Green Revolution, is absolutely unscientific. But we are all running through the system saying it is very scientific because, see, we have created this rice and wheat which was growing 10 kilos, uh, 10 quintals per acre. We are able to now create 30 quintals per acre. See, we have done magic by logging water, by fertilizers, by pesticides. How beautiful. And that, these guys are great scientists. Whole world now has agricultural universities, professors, whole system is created on a wrong foot. And now you cannot say these fellows are not scientists. Hey, I have created this. See, I'm, I'm taking care of hunger of so millions of people. So there is no option, no choice was exercised. I can create food much more than this. And food that regulates glucose release into your blood. And food that can be secured at any point of time, at any given place, wherever you want, whenever you want, all through the range of 10 degrees to 45 degrees, we can produce food in large quantities. And food that regulates your glucose release into the blood, not like flood systems, gates are open. And once these gates are opened, the released glucose in the blood, it is not even going to burn. You can burn and remove. But where are you working? To burn, you need to exercise. You need to release the energy. Only then carbon dioxide is formed and then you can do. But we have stopped working. We complicated ourselves with technology, machines, this, that. So instead of going and switching on TV now, we just press the rem press the remote. Now, we, in fact, the farmers are not going and switching on the motor. Water, they are sitting in the room and then pressing the button. So we are consuming, but not spending the energy. So, kaha jana hai? A glucose, excess glucose, is converted to cholesterol, glycogen, more fat more meat. So people started becoming ballooning. Obesity. See how we are creating diseased conditions just by choosing this food. And then we want to meditate. Eat gehu, eat chini, gulab jamun and sit and meditate. Why do you meditate? The toxic morbid waste running around. Your nervous system is not functioning properly. And uh, we are sitting and meditating. Yeah. So we have broken the links. And it has happened by choice of food. So all these diseases are created because we have chosen the food wrong. But we have built a system of medical world saying that you take this tablet, this will be managed. You take this tablet, this will be managed. If nothing is managed, come, I will remove this. I have got technology, MRI technology, this technology. That I know there is a tumor there, I will remove it. But why did the tumor come in the first place? Because of all these disturbances. Sub ka sub, ek hi hai. There is no respiration system. There is no blood. There is, so all are connected. No, both are both chota problem. I am talking about the original problem of food. You have come right now? So please, you come late. So don't, don't interrupt. We are going through a system. I have talked about all that. So you, you understand what I am talking now? So, if these doctors 
whether it is neurosurgeon or gynecologist or it doesn't matter and we have divided ourselves there is nothing like gynecology there is nothing like neurosurgery there is nothing like entomology all these divisions we have got but it is the system is one it's the whole thing it's not me alone all are one the whole system is actually expression of this energy into as i spoke to in the first phase energy nothingness energy and then material world it's a interplay of all this so if i am sick i'm not going to be keeping quiet i'll make others sick fellow who is next to me or next to me because i don't behave properly i'm not talking about the infectious diseases just me being not all right i will trouble you because my mind is not stable so ripple is created and that can manifest into real restlessness of the whole world itself that has happened many times in the history like hitler like these guys are so disturbed that they disturb the whole <laughs> world <laughs> you understand what is going on so that's the reason why we need to meditate to look into ourselves that meditation even if this all disturbances are there because of this interplay of energy material domain can correct now one then some systems though it's not going to be complete <clears throat> unless you clean your system completely that's why bhag jate the log go to himalayas where all this nonsense does not exist you get things in its pure form whatever is available there yehi karan so now everyone cannot run to himalayas so we need to create system we need to create understanding we need to keep awareness <clears throat> about food so without talking about food we cannot achieve anything <clears throat> either in the non material domain or in the material because it is the material that is base for everything for manifestation of anything <clears throat> so how do we correct to release the food should be releasing glucose slowly and steadily and that's what god has designed this wonderful place so way back in 1987 when i first met a small girl menstruating and i went to america to do my postdoc i basically i think i was around 25 or 26 years of age just finished my phd and went there so that instant shook me because in nature the ladies the girls so the transition from girl to lady becomes around 16 years in time immemorial we have records but then all at a sudden i go to a so called developed country where i meet a girl who is 6 years started menstruating that was a shock of my life then i actually just did my phd on steroids testosterone androgen diamond estrogen so it didn't took take me more than 3 days to figure out that the hormonal balance is lost so we have created hormonal imbalance in that girl then i inquired with mother what actually happened that mother did not feed the baby within 3 weeks she has to go and work and that was the system social fabric that was created in those years before 1987 itself 10 years before itself they took a cow from our country they don't have cows actually <clears throat> those guys don't have cows they took a cow from us and then genetic manipulations and created ivf in vitro fertilization they take a sperm whenever they want they could make a cow pregnant and then have the baby out and then start feeding hormones and the cow started giving more and more milk and then that, that's when they said see we have number one your cow gives only 1 liter our cow gives 25 liter. we are a one okay boy we became a two <laughs> our cows became a two that's that's the story of a one and a two milk so these guys started feeding that milk to their babies so the whole composition the 
constitution, the steroidal balance is different from human milk to cow's milk. So, young girls started menstruating. In fact, in America, right now, the average age of menstruation in the so-called developed countries, wherever this milk is given, is now eight or nine. Lo and behold, India is not very different because we have imported those technologies and we have eliminated our native cows completely. Almost there are no native cows. Billions of these cows and they started making, oh, anyway we are able to feed them, they are able to make more meat and then they said you need protein. Start eating. Because they are able to make that, they want to sell their technology so they started making people, oh, you need more protein. For heaven's sake, we don't have a peptidase in our milk. We only have 3% of peptidases in our body genetically. That means we don't need a lot of protein. We have to make our protein by assimilating the amino acids from the plant proteins and design our meat. The same thing is done with every animal. They design their sequence of amino acid <clears throat> and make polymers, peptides and then opposite when you eat, you have to divide and get your amino acids and then sequence it and then this is what is about protein. Very simple. We don't need protein more than 3 to 4 percent. Max. But then we are pumped in the information, you need a lot of protein. Poor soya bean has already got 21 percent. They said we'll genetically modify, use glyphosate, herbicides and make 33 percent or 31 percent protein. You need to eat soya bean. Along with it, we started eating glyphosate, which is actually degrading our hemoglobin. Because glyphosate is designed to cut short the biosynthesis of chlorophyll. See where to where we have gone. We have flooded with this herbicide all over the world, the water bodies. The penguin in South Pole has got in its blood <coughs> eight times more ppm than so-called allowed. There should not be anything, zero it should be. But now this EPA, Environmental Production Agencies, FDAs, they keep on deciding because they are all controlled by these companies. They have their own rules. Oh, it should have been this many ppm, now it is there eight times more it seems. It should have been zero. Now penguins have cancer because you are eating soya bean. And cancer started increasing all over the world when we started this kind of insecticide pesticide. Because they are polar molecules, they can enter your DNA and disturb the balance of creating cell division. So the cell division that keeps creating the same kind of cell without control. The signal to say yes or no is lost. It's because of this unwanted protein molecules which are not digested, which look like our protein but they are not our protein. So you have all autoimmune diseases coming into play. This is how the diseases are generated by the choices of food that you have made. So how do you get out of these diseased conditions? By designing some more chemicals? Absent. So not do these things. Do not eat these foods if you want to start becoming healthy. The body will take care of itself, but you are not allowing it to take care of itself because you have created unwanted metabolic disturbances which the body, the liver, the pancreas, the systems are struggling to cope up with this unwanted. Now that is more complications. You see where we are going. So the food is lost. We are searching in the hospitals for health. It's called health industry. <laughs> What do you get? You get tablets, you get MRI scan, you get operations. 
don't worry we have technology so advanced we will replace your heart replace your kidney replace your knees <coughs> buy one get one free isapora hmm. and this is the sad story of human race in the last 200 years so how do we get back simply saying no to this food so what was the food then this is the food time immemorial the first domesticated grass is c4 grasses where they build in fiber along with it because c3 foods do not have the genetic mapping to create fiber into the grain and that's why rice wheat do not have the capacity to hold back and release the glucose slowly and steadily you see how beautiful god's design is that he creates it one stroke a system that can clean up your toxic morbid waste in the form of fiber which is a pool of lignans they are called precursors of lignin the wood is inbuilt in this wonderful grains which at the same moment controls the release of glucose so in the negative domain of energy in the positive domain of material domain both are controlled in this wonderful system and that is the catch so if only you know in one stroke to clean up the toxic morbid waste that you are generating on a daily basis and not allow the mundane level the material domain toxic morbid waste to be generated at all in the first place and that's how these millets are the most beautiful grains to clean up your diseases and we did experiments from 1997 i 1997 i came back and i had to search for the grains there were no grains no seeds left and uh, for heaven sake italian millet is actually our fox tail millet kutki millet sama little millet it's called african millet that means whole african continent was eating that italians all the alps and the open spaces of italy europe they were eating that and barnyard millet is called german or japanese millet they were eating that brown top is american millet. even today in colorado they are growing tons and tons of it but what do they do they are for not not for human consumption <laughs> for the bird bird feed <laughs> so we are also doing if they are stupid we are idiots and this is what has happened and these wonderful grains have got 8% to 12.5% fiber and it is a concentrate protein also protein lavanamsha postikamsha in fact they are tabled as the most nutritional grains but what these scientists do not know is that they are healing grains nutrition to sab jagah pe milta hai even rice has got lot of nutrition but we have in these grains vitamin b1 b2 b3 lavanamsha minerals protein and the most important fiber the right amount of fiber that is the beauty because that's what keeps the balance in both the dimensions both in the form of energy negative energy that the emf hold yes. and the glucose is released very really slowly so you eat once in the morning you don't need to eat till next day because actually hamara vrat ka chawal bolte hain okay yes burn yeah Barnyard. Yeah, yeah. some places barnyard some places little millet because it releases glucose slowly and steadily so if i eat in the morning i don't need to think of food till tomorrow that is the beauty so we are cleaning up and god has made little millet to clean up your genital organs so in women and now we come back how do we create healthy sperm healthy zygote healthy egg and then zygote now you see we have come to that it's a cycle na so a man and woman meet create 
So that itself is disturbed now. In fact, so much so that kids are not born anymore in Europe and America because the sperm and egg are not healthy. IVF centers are popping up everywhere. And Umendra Saab keeps telling Punjab is leading in IVF centers. But I don't find that is true because everywhere there are IVF centers. <laughs> Come to South. <laughs> Even small villages now they are talking about IVF centers and then dialysis centers. So the experts, the so-called policy makers have to recognize these issues. So you cannot go on calling this multi-specialty hospitals symbol of progress. We need to look at things differently in a different dimension. So the restlessness is increasing. The stillness is getting away from us because we are creating morbid waste on a daily basis. Not able to clean it up. And beach may Ayurveda fellows come. Come, come, we remove Panchakarma Karikya. They don't talk about the right food. They want to cream, remove the toxic morbid waste. After that, again three months you accumulate, again you go. Panchakarma to har chan we need to do. And that's the job of the food. And we are all talking healthy food, nutritional food. Nutritional food is not healthy. It is creating. So food has to be both nutritional and balanced. removal of ah, balance, balance. Balanced by creating the environment which can make you healthy. So remove the toxic morbid waste. And that's where the disease is coming mm -hmm. from. Both in terms of energy as well as physiological disturbances. So your mitochondrial oxidative stress is the source of these imbalances. So you need to keep walking on a daily basis so that you burn that much energy and release carbon dioxide properly. When you walk, everything happens. Or sit and dhyan me, look at your breath and remove so a, an hour or two of meditation creates you little balance because you are cleaning up the system. Forget about God, Nirvana and all that. That is a second dimension. So you cannot afford to eat meat because it creates immediate imbalance. That's why Patriji, we, I used to, we had a lot of time we spent a lot of time. Kartal, Amara Pasi, Pyramid Amazon. Of course, he was not eating right. I told him actually <laughs> two, three times. A chini, a sub khalete. That's not right. So you are not supposed to put sugar in your mouth at all, scientifically. There is sweetness in nature called fructose based good palm fruits, any any coconut jaggery. And squatters this toddy. Uh, mm, toddy this, palm yes, jaggery. Palm there are more than eight varieties of palm trees. Khajur palm, silver date palm, toddy palm. Um, you want to know what? I can show you a photo. I mean, I, I'll just, one minute, just because you asked. I am coming to the close of my lecture. So two more minutes I will finish and we can. Ah, Charcha, we see it. Yes, yes, everyone has to participate. <laughs> जब बोलते हैं कि जैसे विज्ञान बड़ा जरूरी है तो उसने कहा विज्ञान तो जरूरी है पर विज्ञान विवेक के साथ होना चाहिए अगर उसमें विवेक की ब्रेक नहीं है या धर्म की ब्रेक नहीं है तो वो विज्ञान कहीं और ले जाएगा लोग परम से झगड़ा करते हैं 
यह कमाल धर्म कहाँ घुसा रहे बीच में तो हम उनको कहते हैं भैया ये धर्म वही है जो बताता है कि नदी में भी जीवन है जो बताता है हर सब जड़ चेतन में जीवन है That's the fruit. So, mitha without taking glucose we can have. That is fructose base. Fructose is a sister of glucose. It doesn't disturb your glucose balance in the bloodstream. It just comes, gives you sweetness and passes away. Absolutely no problems. So, all these palm jaggeries, silver date palm, khajur palm, वो तो अभी भी बंगाल में बहुत ज़्यादा है एंड एक्चुअली इट्स वेरी एक्सपेंसिव आल्सो कंपैरेटिवली टू द कोकोनट पाम जैकेट या या इट बिकॉज़ इट इट क्रिएट्स स्मॉलर अमाउंट ऑफ पूल ऑफ नीरा देर इज़ एक्चुअली वी हैव गोट व्हाट इज़ कॉल्ड फिश टेल पाम फिश टेल पाम विच हाँ विच गिव्स यू फोर टाइम्स skilled fellows to get it and then make jaggery. So if you stop taking sugar tomorrow onwards, nothing else. 25% of your diseases will disappear in three months. And if you stop taking milk, another 25% of diseases will disappear. And if you stop taking rice and wheat, another 25% diseases will disappear. And if you stop eating meat, another 25%. So we can close down hospitals one by one. Huh? Yeah, you can have your cows. Cows are also having right to live on this planet. Yeah, whatever way you want. Let, don't drink their milk. Let the babies drink their milk. Yeah, yeah. remaining will become curd. Then up chas be sakte. Koi problem nahi. So don't give milk to anyone. Okay. Let the babies of the cow drink the milk, and that is dharma. Nothing more than that. As simple as. Once you told about the cholesterol, I don't know yeah. how to pronounce it. Yeah, cholesterol. C H O L E S T R. It is the end. Yeah. No, that is good for that baby. You have your cholesterol giving to your baby. Yeah. Yeah. So these are all the things that we need to mind. So the dimension of non-energy, the ultimate nirvana, through the energy, through the material domain, has to be simply practiced through the material domain only. To live, we need to eat. Not eat to live. So, eat less. Create balance. I'm not saying don't eat. Eat. God has given. But know what to eat. Sab ka sab hamara liye nahi kriya hai. There are lakhs of animals and God has to make food for every living thing on this planet. So, anything you see, it's for us. It's for us. You know? That thought process, that's enough. So you want to really start your spiritual journey. Learn this word. Enough for me. All your spiritual journey starts from this. In this material domain, you got to learn enough for me. Just say enough. Enough. God has given enough for everyone. But we have created imbalance by 